Now that we have seen how to run samples through ClickWid, the next step will be how to process data that has been previously acquired. There are two scenarios for data processing, quantitation-based workflows and qualitative screening workflows. In this example, I will walk you through a quantitative workflow. To start this process, simply click Process Data. Choose the test that was used to acquire the samples. Click Next. Select the data set to reprocess. Clicking the arrow to the left of the sample batch name shows all of the samples that were collected within that batch. You can choose to process as many of the samples as required by checking the box to the left of the sample name. Checking the box to the left of the batch name will reprocess all of the samples. Select a project name. Projects are a way to organize our data. Select the project name and the process data will go into this directory. Click Next. Select a reporting option. Here we can either select to report a batch where the generated report will be one large file containing all of the samples. Or we can select a per sample report where we will generate a separate report for each individual sample processed. I will select a batch report and click Next. Select which processing parameters to use. Data can be processed using either the original quantitation method file or with current, updated integration parameters. Selecting current, the software will find the most recent update to the processing method and use this to integrate data files. Review peaks before reporting. If I select yes here, Analyst will open the data files to allow me to look at the chromatograms for each analyte and adjust the integration parameters as necessary. Selecting No will output and process the data without any review on my part. I will select Yes and hit Next. Choose the report style to output your processed data. I only have one report style here, MRM ratio, and this will be the report I will use to output my data. Select the format for the report output. This can be Word, PDF, or email notification. Lastly, I will input a job name. Here, I will call this job Reprocessed ClickWid EPA 536 Data and hit Submit. The software takes me back to the home screen where I can watch a trio of blue dots cycle to green as my data is being reprocessed. I can highlight the job name and go to the Reports tab to watch the report generation from this screen as well. Analyst automatically opens and I can review each of my chromatograms here. As I cycle through, I can see how the software integrated each of my analyte peaks. If I would like to make any adjustments to the integration, I can do so on this screen. If I have made any changes, I will hit Save and Close, and the software will now process my report with the updated integration settings. Once the report has been processed, you will see a green check mark next to the name of the Report tab. Click View to open the report. In this example, I'm running an MRM ratio report, where at least two transitions must be present in an appropriate ratio in order for an analyte to be marked as a positive hit in the sample. The first sample in this batch was a blank, and it is not expected to find a positive result in the sample. The second sample was an unknown. Here we can see that almost all of the analytes are present in the sample, as confirmed by the MRM ratio. Positive samples are indicated by the second transition being highlighted in yellow, 
and a check mark in the column that indicates that the ratio confirms the ID for the sample. One analyte does not show a positive response. Reports can be customized for the output required in your lab.